Bonjour! Welcome back to my The Medium Let's Play here on my channel. In the last episode, we walked around aimlessly, pretty much, for more than 50% of the episode, I guess. Um, but, but we eventually found our way. Uh, and now, we experience our second vision of Thomas. I don't know if it's gonna be the last one. I mean, I feel like it's gonna be the last one, because um, we according to the achievements we found two kinds of things or um, you know um, every instance of two kinds of things if that makes sense uh, I think we found all of these um, uh, well we definitely found all of the echoes of Henry um, but we also um, found all of these I don't know what they're called to be honest uh, these visions slash echoes where there's those particles floating around and you have to focus on an object and then they form a person <laughs> and the scene plays out I mean you know what I mean but I don't know what I don't know what it's called um, I think we also found that I think that what's uh, that's what the achievement was referring to um, and yeah if that's the case I don't think there's too much coming up right I'm pretty sure that the game is gonna end soon then which is also weird because if I'm not mistaken we should be in around six and a half hours maybe if I did the math correctly maybe I completely got it wrong but I th I think we're six and a half hour, uh, hours in and supposedly this game no matter how slowly you play this game will definitely take a full eight hours because um if I'm not mistaken, the devs said that there are a full eight hours of just cutscenes in this game so I don't know, <laughs> but okay. Um, we're just gonna. All work and no play, are you, Henry? Yeah, we're just gonna jump right in. All right. Let's see what makes you tick. Let's see. Uh, can I just say that I really love the red hue? You know, pink is my favorite color, but I also love red. And holy shit, this this looks sexy. And um, you know, those file cabinets to the left and right—they kind of remind me of little nightmares, for some reason. Let me turn my volume down. This file... Spirit Force, yes. Uh, this file cabinet seems to be burning. No way across. Guess I'll just make my own. Yeah. Or... That's just a neat little effect to tell. I don't know which side to move it to, but apparently to the left. So, sorry for the delay, right? Um, or it is just meant to show us which objects we can manipulate. Because... Uh oh, don't like the sound of that. Really don't like the sound Fuck. of that. I'm not alone in here. Could it be the Maw? I mean, if Marianne ran into him, uh, Thomas is probably gonna run into him too, right? Um, but yeah, um, that, um, what, I, what, what I wanted to say was, uh, that was a new power that we didn't see in the first vision of Thomas. I think he only used one ability in the first vision, right? Where he charges up on negative energy and... Oh no. The capture card disconnected again. Yeah. Um, where he um, used negative energy and uh, he used that to destroy evil things. Things that are in the way, I think, if I remember correctly. Just a second. <laughs> We're back. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. The 4K 60S Plus really is troubled. And oh, by the way, speaking of troubled, I think we are troubled as well. I don't know what that was, but it definitely wasn't the Maw. And also, I don't think I'm gonna look around too much in here because... First of all, we found all of the important stuff, I think, according to the achievements, again. But, um... I don't think there was too much stuff hidden in uh, those visions, right? I don't think there was. Yeah. 
you know, right now, <clears throat> it also seems like the end of the first vision, if you know what I'm talking about. You know, first you would walk up to the house, and then you would walk through the house and solve a few puzzles, and then you would end up in um, the maze three times, I think. Three times, I think, yes. Uh, learning about Richard and Rose. But this already seems like the maze of this vision, right? As if we skipped everything that would come before that. I don't know. Or maybe not, okay. Maybe not, because this... Uh, yeah. No, this seems like the house area. We have an interrogation room right here. Hmm. Can look in, but can't do anything. Oh. Before I take a look at that screen, you already know I'm gonna take a look around first. There you are. At least the part of you I'm after. So apparently that's Henry, I think. Couldn't tell you because I don't know what he looks like. We haven't seen him yet, right? Oh, the... Is it the Gemini case? I don't know. Wait, before I take... Okay, you know what? I don't think it matters what's, uh, what we take a look at first. So, the Ministry of Internal Affairs. Case file number 73523. It's top secret. Codename Butcher. Sus uh, suspect Jacob Wilk. Should that name ring a bell? I don't know. Uh, suspected of theft, fraud, and illegal trade. An investigator is Henry... Henry Wilk? Okay. It runs in the family. Uh, uh, the senior constable. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. We have a real tape. So... I think we're gonna be able to watch this pretty soon. I mean, I guess right here, right? Oh, is it a film reel or is it... I don't know. Because this uh, over here seems to be intended to play audio tapes, right? <laughs> so... I mean, honestly, you would think you would have to put it right here, because it's very prominently placed, right? But, uh, maybe not. And maybe we have to do something else first. Although I don't know what that would be. Because the door is locked, as you just saw. Oh. Almost like that um, name list that we tried to figure out with Mary. Oh, we figured it out pretty much right away, but Marianne didn't figure it out because it was very well hidden that you had to press a button to activate the puzzle first. So, let's have a listen, shall we? Press play. Do you know why you're here? I'm not playing your games, Henry. That voice. Don't call me that. Sounds familiar, right? The agency was led to believe you've been stealing meat from the working people of the Republic. Where would they get that idea, I wonder? <laughs> you've been a very bad boy. Hmm. Let's just get this over with. Given your line of work, you had ample opportunity to commit your crime. It is a crime against the people. Punishable by death. Anything to say in your defense? I don't know about that, but okay. I'm sorry, Henry. That's Richard, right? Is that Richard? You know that I'm sorry, Henry really reminded me of Richard, but... No, couldn't be, right? 
what position would he have been in or what would ha what would he have been working as to be able to do that like Henry said I don't know oh the door unlocked of course by playing a tape what else um, but yeah um, to punish that uh, by death is a bit uh, harsh in my opinion Just my opinion, obviously. Let's run. Even though that isn't really running, but let's run <laughs> to move through here faster. Although I really don't want to meet whatever is waiting for us. It's moving. I'm gonna see it right there, right? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Don't think we've seen that before. It can't be the child eater, first of all, because it looks different, and second of all, because we sent him away as Marianne. Uh, and also, what what would he be doing in Henry's head, right? But not gonna lie, I really dig the aesthetics of this vision much more than the first one. Uh-oh. Shit! It kicked out a few drawers, but didn't really attack us yet. Uh, we're gonna have to move something out of the way up ahead, I think. And we have something here. What is this? Oh, ration stamp. Uh, ration stamps, okay. Issued by the government of Polish People's Republic. And one two, three, four, I think, of them are ripped off. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it seems like we are, wor uh, um, uh, we are walking into a slaughterhouse. Like near the pigs. But yeah, right now I really don't know what purpose this is serving, to be honest. I mean, yeah, we have to free him of his demons. To somehow be able to save the children. I, 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 uh, I, don't I know, know, I guess. You're here. Excuse me? You've been a very bad boy. So, uh, Jacob is his father, I think. I think that's Where what this means. You, he can't sneak like Marianne. There you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. Don't know what I was supposed to do, so I thought. Don't just... you hide from me, bad boy! Just running through would help. Where are you? Excuse me. You know, sometimes this feels really wonky when you try to sneak around or, I don't know, to try to do whatever. Uh, as if you... As if you were actually supposed to get caught, but then you don't get caught because the game is kind of wonky I in that regard, right? Um, yeah, I know, we're gonna get hurt, probably. Fuck. And we're gonna have to do this all over again, but uh, I have a... Can you stop shining your flashlight at me now, please? Thank you. Uh, but I do want to go back real Where quick because I, I think this is the way to go, Come so here. yeah, 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 it's okay, it's okay. Because I think um, this right up there, what's glowing, is optional then. I also like how the flashlight beam isn't connected to a flashlight or a person. 
And don't tell me this was all for nothing because I can't do anything with it. Great. I love it. Bad boy! Come here! Shit! Ow. I'm just happy that our health regenerates on its own. I know you. But yeah, uh, great that this was all for nothing, You've right? I was sure I... Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, we were a bad, bad boy. Uh, I was sure that we could do something with that. But apparently no, we're gonna have to move through there. And then probably make our way back and then go through there. Don't you hide from there you know what? You are. Fuck you. I'm just gonna crawl through here if you don't mind. Sick and tired of waiting, to be honest. Uh Just gonna stand here, I guess. Mm-hmm. I don't like uh the area that we're moving through right now. Do I have to use them as a shield now? I hope not. Or maybe I have to wait for the opening to go through. Maybe that's what this is. Apparently that's what it was. Yeah. Don't know where we're going. Or what we'll find. What we're gonna have to do. Because ultimately, I do think we're gonna have to go through that glowing door, I guess, that I wanted to try. Uh, that I was trying to go through about two minutes ago when I went back. But yeah, we're gonna have to do something else before we can do that. Probably gonna go uh, gonna have to go to the left because there is nothing here. Yeah. Even before we reach the chains, there is an invisible wall, obviously. But now Thomas has to balance his ass too. Okay, we made it through the other uh, over to the other side, not through the other side. There's something in here, apparently. Oh, and there's a notebook. Uh, if he could take a look at this, yes. We have the anatomy of a pig and steady hand, even motions against the grain. Always against, never with, always against, never with. Yeah, don't know what he's talking about. I mean, I guess I do, right? But, um,. why he would write that down, especially in such a notebook. They're really trying to tell me that there's nothing in here, right? Aha! I have a few, I think I know what's going on. While he keeps repeating that, um, as a child, it seems like he was forced by his dad to work in the slaughterhouse that he worked in, and obviously uh, against his will, probably, right? Um, and that still uh, that left deep scars that are still present to this day, obviously, uh, that he's trying to come to terms with. But I don't know what that uh, you know investigation against Jacob was about. Still assuming that's his dad? Uh, that he stole from the slaughter slaughterhouse then? I don't know, I have no idea. Ah, now we can charge up. And now we can burst through the door, I think. If we can make it there alive. Oh, or we can take a shortcut. 
assuming this is a shortcut. And assuming nothing bad will happen. And he's repeating it like a mantra. If I didn't know better, I'd say he's meditating. Although I don't think that this is the time, nor the setting, nor... Where are you? the mantra to use during meditation. He's gonna shine his flashlight at us again, right? Or not? I mean, I thought he wouldn't do it just once, but apparently he did it just once. Let's drop down. And let's drop down from here as well. And now... BAM! Go through the door. And see what's in store for us now. More dead pigs, obviously. Okay. I do think that there will be something very significant behind this door, right? Because almost all sound effects and music stopped. And there is nothing here, nothing to pick up, nothing to take a look at, and nothing that's attacking us, so... Yeah, I think it's safe to assume that uh, whatever is going to happen in this vision, the ultimate thing, event, is going to uh, wait for us uh, on the other side of this door. But before I go through the door, I'm going to end it here for now, for today. So thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you again very soon in the next episode of The Medium on the other side of the door or in another game here on my channel. And until then, bye!